All right, Larry, I, just being real, that's as good as I've seen you look probably since you got drafted. You know What's what up I, with that? I've been working hard, man. I've been working hard and started a little early this summer. Uh, just waiting on the uh, waiting on the call, you know, to find out my next home. You know, we talked a little bit about, you know, your friend LeBron going to Miami. First of all, what do you think of the decision, you know, putting it on show like that? But, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of rumors, you in Miami. You know what? That's what the people were asking for, you know, for a big, you know, decision day. So I think he just gave the people what they were looking for. Uh, Ten million people. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I don't think we should fault him, you know, for, for obviously, you know, just giving the, the, the fans and everybody what they wanted. You know, there's no knock on him. That is a good friend of mine. Uh, Miami is not is an option, you know, but at the same time, you know, we're just looking to uh, make the best decision. You know, you fell into a good situation down there in the stretch with Charlotte. You guys got into the playoffs. You got some good run mm -hmm. down the stretch. Really got to, to play for a coach to kind of see some value in you. Is Charlotte an option? Uh, I think Charlotte is, a, is an option. You know, we've been having talks, you know, once free agency started. You know, and just, uh, you know, just kind of waiting my turn, man. Just waiting my turn and seeing, you know, the best situation. I have a lot of basketball left. You know, I'm willing to uh, play both ends of the court. Uh, veteran guy. So, you know, I'm looking for the next chance. You know, for you, this is probably the next part of your career where it's now there are less games ahead than before. Is it now more about winning than anything else? Well, it's definitely about winning. Uh, just being at a, at a better place, you know, uh, physically, mentally, uh, professional-wise, you know, just uh, in regular well, life. respect, you've been on some bad teams. Exactly, exactly. You know, and just having the experience to... Uh, to build a team up, having a chance to go to the finals, having a chance to make it to the first and second rounds. You know, those are everything I cherish, and I can pass that on You know, as I get older. You have another really good friend in Allen Iverson. He's gone through a lot in the last year. Have you talked to AI? What do you think he's doing? I talk to him all the time. He's in Atlanta. He's working out. Uh, he's committed to coming back. Um, like I say, he, he's also looking for the right situation. Uh, feels like he has a lot of basketball left. And, uh, you know, opportunity's coming. We're, we're waiting patiently. If, you're, if you could tell a GM why sign Allen Iverson, what is it that Allen brings to the team and, and what is everybody wrong about? Well, I think he brings the confidence, uh, a confidence, a certain swagger you know, that, you, that your team needs to compete you know, every night. Um, a fear factor for the other teams is, is also what you need. You know, I think he brings all of those things. You know, even with the last couple of years of uh, a turmoil, he still uh, can be productive. For you, as you start to get into the next part, what do you feel like you bring to a team now as a more mature player? Uh, all around game now. Uh, scoring on both uh, ends, you know, and I mean that's on the offensive end and on, on the defensive end. Deflection, steals, um, you know, being in the right spot, you know, those are all scores in my book, and uh, that's what I'm bringing to the table, you know, and enjoy doing it. I'm still, I'm still, I feel like I'm still young, so I'm having fun. Looking young out there. You know, we're out here in Vegas, and obviously, you know, when you're at jo Impact Basketball, Joe Bunasar, and, and all the things that go mm -hmm. on, you see a lot of young talent. Mm -hmm. When you were the young stud coming in, did you appreciate how much craft there was? was to the NBA game? Uh, it takes a couple years to really appreciate the ins and outs, the little um, you know, things that veteran guys use, uh, the holding and grabbing, you know, the illegal defense, knowing where to be, knowing where not to be. Uh, you pick up all those things you know, after the first couple years in the league, you know, and it's what you do with it after that that defines you. Yeah, we saw Ty Lue, the crafty veteran out here, picking you guys apart. So. Man, we, hey, veteran guys, man. We know how to win. We know how to play. Even in pickup basketball, we know how to pick the game apart and break it down where you give yourself the best chance to win.